What's up, everybody? It's Amber Bradley here with my trusty and spunky co MC Joe LaRocca. Hey, are you following Amber at, at my calibration on Twitter? Am because you right should now? be. <laughs> you should be. Blow for up sure. Amber's Twitter feed. Yes, for super expert marketing advice. But if you want to know anything about LP, I mean, you tweet quite a bit these I little tweet, how I tweet to a lot. Like, help you out kind of safety stuff. That's right. At LaRocca J With on some Twitter. With hashtag safety. That's right. You do. That, you want to run through the agenda today? You know what? This LP digital fast break conference is awesome. And Joe's going to run through the afternoon retailer portion of the day, which you don't want to press that little red X on your computer screen because what do we got? Retailers, retailers? We have we have so many sessions. I'm not sure I can even get through them all Don't in do this it. Just segment. Name drop. So you're good at that. So if you're not watching this live right now, if you're watching this from the D and D, these this is a preview of what's coming up on other sessions. Get your lunch. Sit down. Don't do any work today. It's a holiday. I just heard Martin we're, Luther King Day. It's Martin you know? Luther King Day. It That's is right. Fact. So see now you know. Now it's out of the bag what day we're taping. It is, oh, <laughs> but I'm <bump. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. This will bring us back. To so, the good. so in future segments, we'll be talking to Bob Baraka, who's the vice president of loss prevention no with the National Retail Federation. No, re no, uh, no relation. <laughs> that joke's funny every Bo time. Bob and I will be joining Gus Downing to talk about the state of the industry and some of the key things that are happening. We'll be joined by Scott Barefoot. And then a session with Maliki Kavanaugh with the International Council of Shopping Centers talking about the relationship between shopping centers and retailers nationwide. And this truly is, just to interject, because those are two awesome sessions. I mean, this truly is a conference on your computer. Like, you can't get this anywhere else. That's right. And I think it, when you see the depth and diversity of the retailers and service providers that we have, online through the D&D or live as you watch today exactly. on Martin Luther King Day as we're broadcasting live in New York live. City, you'll be entertained all day long. Oh, and you get Amber and I in between. Yeah, I mean, you can't beat that. Well, no. No, you can't. No, of course you, you can't. can't. What other retailers Okay, back to the out? agenda. So we have Art Silva coming out. He's the retail operations director at Hallmark. We have one of my favorite people in the industry, Carl Langhorst, the corporate senior director of loss prevention with the Kroger Company and Kirk Ball on his team. And then we have Paul Paglia, who's the VP of Loss Prevention with DKNY. Brian he always has something good to share. Paul, Paul does. Paul always does. Always does, an innovator, truly. I, I, we love Paul. And then Brian Baser, the AVP of Asset Protection and Risk Management with Asina Retail. You know who Asina is. You may not know the name necessarily. They own everything. They own everything, everything. right? So they own Ann Taylor, they own Dress Barn, they own everything. And then we have, uh, later in the day, we have Tom Litchford, who's the Vice President of Retail Technologies with the National Retail Federation, also joining Bob Maraca talking about technology. Mo Cloutier, who's the VP of Asset Protection with Ann Inc., Division of Asina. Uh, Rob Lacombe, AVP of Asset Protection and Risk Management with Justice Stores. It's totally packed. The agenda is packed. This is packed. It's and then... Uh, I'll leave off with this last one. You're not going to want to miss Kevin Coleman, the group vice president of asset protection with Macy's at 4 p.m. today. Yeah, it's huge. So we're going to be with you all day. So if you bug out on us, you're really going to miss it. You're going to miss you out. Think? Especially when I surprise Joe on camera with some random trivia, which is oh. happening right now. Here we, oh, okay. here we go. So of the two of us, Amber Bradley and Joe LaRocca, which one of us has, is older? Is old. No, we're not going to do that. Do you Except see the Do you see I'm the gray younger, hair? I'm younger, I think. Than you. Do you see the gray Certainly. hair? Yeah. Certainly. Yeah. But no, that's not what we're going to talk about. Which one of us? Which one of us is better looking? Oh, that's tough. Because you know, it's me. Which one of us is? Which one of us is, does no, better I'm improv? Finish it. <laughs> which one of us? Which one of us is wearing a dress? <laughs> Okay, this is out of control. Which one of us is the How executive director of the RLPSA? Yeah, we know who that is. No. Is it you? Which one of us released a white paper today? That's at right. That's calibration right. Group. You're, now you're getting complimentary. I appreciate that. And I don't want to stop you, but I will. This is like the so, political stall right it, here. It's a political... No, no, oh, because you're scared? Yeah. You're scared because you're I'm on scared. the hot seat I, now? Yes. Well, it's not that big a deal. I scared him before. Listen, which one of us shares a movie star name? All of that improv just for that question. It's you, dude. Joseph LaRocca is a movie yeah. star. Did you know that? Yeah, from The Did Sopranos, you know of course. Well, from The Sopranos, really? Yeah. And also movies like 
waiting for the man. What was that about? <laughs> no idea. Okay, you <laughs> no need to idea. you need to call my uncle Joe. Call my okay. uncle Joey. How about how about just desserts? You were in that movie. I don't even want to no? go there. Is that? Go. I'm not sure this is even legal on a business broadcast. Oh, <laughs> oh so good. You're lucky Look at we're that. Getting we're getting the wrap-up wrap up sign. sign. That's fine though. So we're gonna send it over to Gus Downing, who probably also shares his name with the movie star. Back to you, Gus.